Hey friends, it's Ryan and on today's video, we're going inside Dollywood and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about the Time Saver Pass. How to get one, what it's good for, and a lot of frequently asked questions I notice people ask in regards to a Time Saver Pass. So let's hop on inside and show you how it works. Just like you can get park tickets in advance online, you can also do the same with the Time Saver Pass. It's something I would definitely recommend and let me show you how to do. If you go to the website under Tickets and Passes, you'd see this right here, Time Saver. If for any reason you're having a hard time finding it, just do a search on the website for Time Saver. That should bring you to all the different Time Saver options available. You can see they have a standard time saver as well as an unlimited pass, which I'll break down a little more in detail. You can also see they have some time savers for Splash Country, but we'll save that for another video. If I click on this standard time saver pass, again, I'd recommend getting in advance. If I pick, say, this Friday, I can see how much the time saver will cost me. Now, I did just want to give you a heads up if you select a Saturday. Saturday are the one day where the park is the most popular, so the price might be a little bit more on that particular day. The next frequently asked question I see is how many time saver passes do you need? I would say one for each person in your party that is going to be riding rides. So if someone in your party is not gonna be riding a ride, you don't need to get them a time saver. But if someone is, make sure it's one time saver pass per person. All right, now that we have our tickets and our time saver passes in advance, which again, you can do the day you arrive, let's head on into the park and I'm gonna show you where you're gonna go When you come in, you're gonna pass the bakery on your right when you enter the main gate or the preferred parking. Keep heading down to this bridge and voila, we have made it to the Time Saver Pass location. As you can see, the day that I came here, the Time Saver Unlimited Pass was very popular and they sold out of those midday. So if that's something you wanna utilize, definitely get here early. An insider tip I would tell you is grab one of these maps that are on the counter. It shows you exactly which ride the Time Saver Passes are good for. But once you have your wristband, you're good to go. You can head on off and start enjoying some rides. One of those rides you can use the Time Saver Pass on, loved by many, is the Lightning Rod. So let's go inside and I'll show you what you'd be looking for when you come up to an attraction. You'd see this little Time Saver Pass logo here. This is a fantastic thing to have if you love going on rides. As you can see, this was a popular time for this particular ride. I did watch the clock and the time estimated for the standard line and what it took me on the Time Saver Pass line was much quicker so you could definitely get a lot more roller coasters in on your day if that's something you want to do. Again here's another example of where the Time Saver logo that you'd be looking for to get on these rides would be as we come up here to the Tennessee Tornado. The standard line is if you keep walking down but right here would be an example of the Time Saver Pass logo you're looking for, and this is the entrance you would be able to utilize if you got a Time Saver Pass. It's a great luxury if you really want to maximize your day and get lots of rides in throughout the day with you and your party. Last thing I want to point out is with the standard, you get eight rides. So it could all be on the exact same ride. You could come get on Thunderhead and ride it again and again and again. It's up to you which rides you want, or you can get an unlimited wristband, and that would allow you unlimited rides throughout the day. I would just refer you to check on the mobile app or the website to see exactly which rides qualify, as well as the current pricing. Well, that wraps up our video looking at the Time Saver Pass. I hope you found this helpful. I'll put some additional links below that you might also find helpful. So. Hopefully we'll see you here at Dollywood real soon. Take care. If you still have any questions about the Time Saver Pass, drop those down in the comments. We'll do our best to answer. Also, consider subscribing. We cover all sorts of things to do at Dollywood and the Great Smoky Mountains. 
and feel free to check out this other video. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.